get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. Oh, been a while, hasn't it? Long time no year. All right, if you are watching this video, we are up and running. All right, so today we're going to be making orange butter or orange spread. Now, one of my subscribers, Dan, has been using the lemon spread and he's been making them up and selling them and he reckons that everybody loves them and they've all been asking him for orange butter and I'm really quite chuffed that he's done that. So, I have made two orange butters so far and I wasn't too happy with them. So, I think I've got it perfect now. So, if you are watching this video, we've done it. We've made it perfect. <laughs> Alright, so Dan selling his lemon spread just made me think, if any of you guys have got a cafe or a restaurant or even a servo or something and you want to use any of my recipes, you are absolutely welcome to. I think it's fantastic. Alright, well let's just go through what we need, okay? So we're going to need 8 eggs, 2 cups of sugar, 1 cup of orange juice, 1 third of a cup of lemon juice, 250 grams of butter. And it's going to make approximately four cups, but I reckon it might be a little bit over. So what I use is these jars here, okay? And I get them from Big W. They come in packs of six, and they work out to a dollar each. Now, I filled them up, and a cup level comes to about there. So I will call these one cup jars. All right, so normally for the lemon spread, I'd use four. But because I've got a feeling it might be just that little bit more, and waste not, want not, even if we keep it for ourselves, I'm just going to do an extra jar in case. Alright, so what we do with these is we wash them all out and we put them on a tea towel, okay? The first thing we do once we're ready to start cooking is we want to fill them all up with hot water from the tap to get them warm, the glasses warm. And then we want to fill the kettle with boiling water and just before we're ready, we're going to fill them up with the boiling water to get the jars hot. Once it's ready, you just flick your jars out and then fill them up. Now, we need a saucepan with a heat-proof bowl that just sits on the top or in the top perfectly, and we're going to need a whisk. Now, with this, see how that sits in about like this far? So what I'm going to do is fill up with the water, and we want a gap between the bowl and the water of about this much of a gap. So when it's simmering, it's not hitting the top of the bowl, okay? So because I've got an electric stove top, I'm going to fill it up to just about halfway, and um, I'm going to actually put it on. So we want to get the water on to start simmering. We don't want it boiling its guts out. We just want it simmering. First thing we want to do is crack eight eggs in there and whisk them up. Once we've done that, we now want to add two cups of normal white sugar. And then we want to whisk that in. Now we need one cup of orange juice. And I've got this little strainer. So I will strain it as I'm putting into the one cup. Now it takes six to eight oranges, depending on how juicy they are, etc, etc. Alrighty, well I love interesting things, so I'd love to share them. Okay, so like I said before, I've already attempted this twice already. So the first time, two times I did it, I did it with store-bought oranges. The first one uh, took six oranges, and the second one took seven oranges to get one cup. So this container holds a cup. So these little ones, you do your orange with that one, or your lemon with the smaller one on the other side. These are only like about six bucks, and I got it from the IGA. And so yeah, anyway, that holds a cup. Now this lot, because I ran out of money, I drove around the area, and I found a tree, an orange tree out the front with oranges on it. And I went and knocked on the door and I asked the lady, could I please grab six oranges and I will bring her back a jar of orange spread. And she said, absolutely. So I grabbed six oranges and guess what? Straight off the tree, I've only used three. That's how much of a difference store-bought to tree is. It's incredible. So if you've got an orange tree and you've got big oranges, you quite possibly will only need about three. <laughs> And if you get them from the store, grab six to eight. Grab eight. Oh, so I'll just take the lid off. And measure out one cup. And then we're going to put it straight in with our um, eggs and sugar. And give that a good whisk through. And now I'm just going to clean it up again so we can do the same with lemon juice. Alright, so I'll just rinse that out. So I've got the smaller side on now for lemons. And now we're going to measure out... One third of a cup 
of lemon juice. So we're going to do the exactly same, exact same thing, strainer and all. And we want one third of a cup into our bowl. So at the moment, I have got a tree full of lemons. I have no idea why. They're normally ready at Christmas time, but I guess now they're starting to be all rounders. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to bang out as many lemon recipes as I can because, well, let's just say they're expensive. And if I've got them all on the tree, it'd be stupid of me not to. All right, so my third of a cup come from one lemon off my tree. So if you're going to do store-bought ones, maybe just grab two or three. Yeah, always swish it around to get the stuff out. Now, if you're doing like the other way around and you're doing the lemon spread and you're using heaps of lemon, you'll have to rinse this out a few times and redo it. All right, third of a cup of lemon juice. Mix that through. All right, now I'm going to clean up the bench and I'm going to get out 250 grams of butter. All right, so now I'm going to chop up one, two, two, 250 grams of butter. I'm just going to chop it into squares and chuck it in our bowl. Now I always use unsalted butter. It doesn't matter what I'm cooking, I always use unsalted. Because there's enough salt in everything anyway. And I'm old school, if you want salt in something, you sprinkle it on the top as well. So I never ever put salted butter in anything. It's always unsalted. Alrighty, now we are all set to go. So I'm still waiting for my water to heat up. All right, the water's just about to start simmering. I've emptied out all the jars and I've just filled them all with the boiling water from the kettle. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to start stirring it using the whisk, okay? I'm really sorry if I'm loud. The camera is right next to my head and if I move out of the way, I'm going to have a big shadow on it. So I just can't do much about it. Alright, so I'm trying to talk softly, which is like impossible for me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep stirring it with the whisk until the butter melts. Once the butter melts, we're going to swap it over for a spoon. So just constantly stir it until it's all melted. Alrighty, now our butter has pretty much melted. So what I'm going to do at this stage is swap that over for a spoon. Now, if you chuck the spoon in and you can see, see how it just runs off the spoon? Okay, and it's really runny and there's like no coating yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a timer on for 10 minutes. just so I can give you a rough idea of how long this part takes. All right, so now I'm just gonna constantly stir and you will actually feel when it starts to get a little bit thicker. Now, it's got a lot of butter in it, so don't expect it to be really thick straight away. Obviously, as it sets and gets colder, the butter hardens up and makes it thicker. We're on the seven minute mark now, and what I have realized, which is the same with the lemon spread, I'm hoping you can see, but see the white foam on top? That's just started happening now at seven minutes. And what I've worked out is that when that foam disappears on the top, that white stuff, just as it disappears is usually when it thickens perfectly. All right, we are literally at the 10 minute mark. I try not to get the shadow in there. Now, all the white stuff has just started to disappear. And as you can see, I'll just give it one another there. All the white stuff on the top has just gone then. And see how we've got no dripping? It's, I mean, we've got dripping, but we haven't got it runny dripping. And it's coated the back of the spoon. See how it drips, but it's not runny. That's exactly how we want it. I want it to look like that. Okay, so that took 10 minutes. So off it comes. Alright, so we take it straight off the heat. Have a look at this, you can feel it, you can feel it being thicker. So 10 minutes from the butter melted, and that's exactly how we want it, it's perfect. Alright, so you definitely got it all coming off it, but it's not runny. And you can see it's coated the whole back of the spoon. So yeah, there you go, I've never timed that before. 10 minutes, that's great, from when the butter's melted. Okay, now we want to empty out our glasses, shake the shit out of them, and put them all on the bench. Alright, I'm probably going to be in your way, there's no pretty way of doing that. Just start filling them up. I like to leave a, them a little bit from the top. I don't like to fill them right to the top. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, I just knew this one was going to work after the last two. I just knew it. It smells freaking beautiful. Okay, it made f exactly five one-cup jars, which I'm absolutely wrapped about. All right, so while it's hot, we want to put the lids on just to help them seal properly. 
Now I'll leave them sit there and they, till they're completely cooled down enough to put them in the fridge. Now normally I like leaving them in the fridge overnight to set properly, but today I'm going to leave them in there for four hours because I need to do some more videos. <laughs> and um, we'll see how we go in four hours time. Alrighty, so it's almost been four hours. <laughs> I just can't wait. I want to hurry up and upload this video and see if all the editing and everything works. Um, Alright, so if uh, you guys follow me on my weight loss journey, um, a couple of weeks ago I stopped eating white bread altogether and I've started eating rye bread. Um, I've also started a couple of weeks ago filling up a glass of water every hour on the hour and drinking it through that hour and filling it up and I'm doing that all day long as well. And at the moment I'm just soft and squishy. So I'm going to toast up a piece of that and we're going to give it a crack. Da -na -na -na. Always get a clean knife for the spread and it will last longer. <laughs> oh my god, I bet you can't even see on the camera. Look at this. Now it's all about the taste. So that is setting beautifully already just after, well, let's say three and a half hours. <laughs> so overnight it'll be perfect. Absolutely beautiful. I, I knew it was going to work. See everybody? You just got to keep trying something and you'll get there. All right, let's have a crack. Oh my god, mate. That's Moorish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Dan, you're going to love this. All your customers are going to absolutely love it. All right, that's the other thing I wanted to show you too. You can get things like this. Okay, so these are stickers. So you put your lid on. You stick the round homemade on top and it goes down to seal your lids for you. And they just look really cool when you're selling them. Now I've got these ones from uh, wish.com, I think it's .au. And I don't think they cost bugger all as well. And then you can get like all these sort of things, handmade. Well there we go lovelies, we've got some awesome orange butter. Absolutely brilliant. Five jars, one cup jars, num num num. Always keep them in the fridge. Now, they'll last at least a couple of weeks, and then after that, they'll still be okay. It's just that they slowly lose their flavor less and less. But trust me, these orange ones are just going to fly out the door. All the kids in that are going to absolutely love them. You have to give it a crack. Okay, from now onwards, I'm doing a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, no matter what. So I will see you all on Monday. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Toodles!